Hello everybody, my name is Forrest. I am currently renovating this Toyota motorhome that I'm in. And uh, this is actually the last thing that I need to do before it's ready to move into January 1st, everyone. I am going to replace the lead acid battery system that we have in here with lithium iron phosphate. So this battery is rated at 12.8 volts. It has 100 amp hours of uh, capacity, giving it a total energy of 1280 watts. So this battery is really aimed at replacing your old lead acid batteries. It has the same voltage as a typical lead acid um, deep cycle or car battery and you can just simply drop these in and it has a positive and negative terminal and you hook up all of your appliances to it like your lead acid battery system had. So right now I have 210 amp hours of lead acid battery and I will be replacing it with 300 amp hours of lithium iron phosphate batteries. And the reason I'm doing that is because there are some key advantages to using a lithium battery. I think the main one is that you're able to drain lithium batteries a lot more than you are a lead acid battery. So you only ever want to drain a lead acid battery to 50%. And if you go any more below that, you actually run the risk of damaging that battery. So there are a lot of different numbers that people throw around with lithium. Um, some people say that you can drain it all the way to 0%, and some people say you don't want to go below 20%. So if you go by the first model of being able to drain it to 0%, you can actually replace 200 amp hours of lead acid battery with only 100 amp hours of lithium battery. So that's a key advantage right there. And if you only drain it down to 20%, uh, you're still getting an extra 30% of, of battery use out of this thing. The other one uh, I would say is absorption. Lithium is actually quite a bit better at absorbing energy. So if you have an off-grid system, you're gonna be able to get more out of it. So another major advantage of lithium iron phosphate batteries is that you actually get a longer lifespan out of them because you can discharge them for more cycles. So you would actually have to replace lead acid batteries more often than a lithium iron phosphate battery. Cons, I think, the major one that people talk about is cost. But when you start factoring in all the pros that we've recently talked about, um, being able to buy half as much capacity compared to lead acid, where you would have to buy two batteries, you could buy one. The lifespan of the battery, of course, um, the amount of discharge, and then also it's, it's just extremely valuable to be able to gain more energy through the through the better absorption so you do have to pay more initially but it's going to last longer you need to buy fewer of them comparatively to lead acid and um, so that cost starts making sense so i just wanted to reiterate before we get into the build that this is a sponsored video by rely on they provided me with these batteries and these are very high quality and they have competitive pricing so if you guys are looking to replace your lead acid system or you're doing an off-grid build and considering lithium i would check out their website which will be linked below and you can see if uh, any of their batteries fit your needs so yeah let's get started everyone so these are my uh, lead acid batteries i'm going to disconnect everything i've labeled a lot of these ones with uh, tape so this will be for the negative and that's going to be for the positive. There's actually only two wires going to the positive of this one. So that should be pretty simple. So all of my appliances run off of this one battery here. Then I am simply taking this positive wire, connecting it to the positive here, running this negative wire to this negative wire here. And then I've made some short um, cables to connect it to the third battery which is actually underneath the cabinet that the camera's sitting on. All right well it's done it's really just that easy you just take the lead acid out put the lithium back in and put it back together the way it was for replacing a lead acid system. Uh, the other thing that you want to do before you finish off if you have solar panels connected. You want to go into your charge controller if it allows it and change the um, battery input to lithium instead of flooded or gel or sealed or what other system that you used to have in there. Um, yeah, so everything that you guys see that's on all these lights, this is all being run off of all three of those batteries. So now my capacity is 300 amp hours of lithium iron phosphate batteries. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, 
And if you guys want to be happy with your setups as well, make sure to check out the link in the description for rely on. If you guys want to see more about this motorhome build, you can go to my second channel, which is called Forrest Stevens. There you will find all of the videos that I've made so far about restoring this motorhome. And we're going to be um, doing a few episodes about our uh, us living in it and traveling in it as well. If you guys um, are interested in this channel, we do alternative dwelling tours every single Monday, as well as the occasional sponsored tutorial like this one. And I uh, hope you guys like this video. Um, make sure to share it with somebody who's thinking about doing this or has been kind of wondering if it, it, how to do it. Um, and I hope to see you guys on the next video or somewhere on the internet. Uh, just comment below or wherever. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, see you guys.